my personal opinion, Superstar is easily one of the best game modes in Thetan Arena. It's a fun team-based game that's actually really easy to win if your team plays together for the objective. But if you're like me and have no friends, then you've probably queued up for a bunch of games with random players that are just terrible. You're hoping that they understand the objective of the game, but nine times out of 10, they don't. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the best strategies to help you secure a high win rate in this game mode and earn more THC. The first thing you need to understand about Superstar is how many stars spawn per Superstar. The first Superstar will only spawn 20 stars, the second one will spawn 30, and the final one will spawn 50. So if you secure the first and the second Superstar and all the stars that it spawns, you will win the game before the third Superstar even spawns. But if your team doesn't get the first two Superstars, don't panic. As long as you picked up a couple stars along the way from the enemy team, you can still come back with the third and final superstar. So the biggest question right now is how do you get the superstar? Before queuing up for a game, you need to pick the most optimal abilities to help you clear the objective of the game. I generally find movement abilities like Ghost Fade, Burrow, and Meteor Slam are super effective in this type of game mode. They give you the ability to grab the star and dash out before the enemy team even has a chance to respond. As for your second ability, AoE crowd control abilities like Ice Ball and Black Hole are really good at fending off the enemy team and setting your team up for a massive amount of kills. Rocket Plunger is also a great move if you can hit it consistently, since you could easily catch out an enemy carry and get a free kill. If you play League of Legends, just think of this like a Blitzcrank mode. Now that you have the most effective abilities, all you need to do now is strategize how you're going to win the game. The most consistent strat I've seen for getting control of the first star is for your entire team to go in one direction, giving all the experience to a single player. They'll gain level 2, which gives them an extra ability which they can leverage to gain control of the star. Oftentimes, I like to take black holes so the enemy just bunches up together. They have no way to jump in because they're all level 1 still. Alternatively, you could also grab your movement abilities so you could get the star and dash out. Now that you've secured the star, the best thing to do is just run straight to your spawn. At this point, if your team manages to kill the enemy team, then you pretty much secure the rest of the stars for that superstar. In the mid game, it's really important to set up in advance for control of the second superstar. Essentially, you want to put the enemy team in a position that makes it really difficult for them to get the star safely. You grab the star just like before and dash out. If you're playing an assassin like Radon, sometimes it's more efficient to let the enemy get the superstar. Flank them from behind, killing them, stealing the superstar. And at this point, your team would have already been fighting their team in the middle of the map. The enemy team is probably really low or already dead. So you'll get a safe return to your spawn and be able to secure the remaining stars. Last, but certainly not least, is the third superstar. And when you're playing for the third superstar, since it spawns 50 stars, no matter which team gets it, that team will probably win the game. Playing for the third superstar, Superstar is pretty similar to playing for the second Superstar, except the stakes are so much higher this time. The third Superstar spawns 50 stars, so whoever gets control of the third Superstar will generally win the game. Because of this, it's extra important that you be careful not to die before the star spawns. If you die before the Superstar spawns, that puts your team in a really difficult position and they most likely will not be able to get control of the superstar. I hope this video was helpful and you win more games with the tips and tricks you learned along the way. If you have any more OP strategies that I did not cover in this video, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I look forward to reading them. And yeah, thanks. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.